what we use is coconut milk. Okay, so we get a cup of coconut milk. We keep the coconut milk up. My beautiful assistant. Thank you very much. I'll put this back in the fridge. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I was gonna say fish. Always use wood when you're um, stirring anything in a metal pan. Do you know why you use wood, son? Wood or plastic or rubber, never metal. Because metal it scrapes the bottom. It, and it's take, it takes the protective. And what you have to do with this is you have to, when you make your porridge, you have to scrape the bottom, otherwise it gets stuck to the bottom. That's, exactly <laughs> that's why you need the wood. And we squash the bananas up, chop the bananas up so they actually turn into liquid. I'd use the banana before you go to the gym so your body burns it up. See, chop them, please, beautiful. So what we do? We yep. get the fruit out. So we put some raspberries, some blueberries, strawberries. If gorillas live on bananas and plants, mm -hmm. and they're one of the strongest beings in the jungle, then it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. It really does make sense. This is why we eat this stuff. So we use canning water to wash our fruits. Canning water is 9.5 pH level. It brings the actual natural uh, minerals to the surface of the fruit and veg. Um, and it sort of takes out all the toxins from the pesticides when you wash your fruit and veg with it. So then we put these on a plate. A little tip, pineapple, make your banana porridge with pineapple and strawberry. Mwah. We're going to use half, half a cup. cup. We use a cup of milk. So you use... Half the milk. Well, yeah, you, you double the liquid. What I've learned about porridge is you, you double the amount of liquid to the amount of porridge you put in. It's the same principle as um, rice. Every illness is passed on through learned behaviour through diet. So if I grow up eating egg, bacon, beans, sausage and chips and then roast dinner and then meat products every day, then I'm likely going to have hernias. I'm likely going to have irritable bowel syndrome. I'm likely going to have indigestion reflux. I'm likely going to have eczema if I eat dairy. I'm likely going to get psoriasis. So all these sort of illnesses that people create is through their diet because the plant-based diet is the only is the only nutrients we need. And once you're on it, it gets rid of, it expels all the toxins in your body. So when people eat vegetables and they get spotty, that's because their body is getting rid of the toxins that are within already. So anybody who wants to eat bacon and sausage, that's fine. But just know that you're heading towards illness and you will actually need medication to deal with your illness at some stage. So the quicker people can get away from the um, animal-based um, diet will be more beneficial for them and their hereditary illnesses, which they believe is because it's hereditary.